Hello traders, this is Dr. Barry Burns with the Top Dog Trading video. And last time we talked about moving averages in general and that they are just basically a version to the mean type of dynamic that works with price and that you could use many different types of moving averages weighted, triangulated, exponential, simple, um, there's adaptive moving averages, golly, all kinds of different things and then of course different periods as well and uh, we talked about how it didn't really make a lot of difference as to which type of moving average you used or um, the interval that you used for example 50 moving average 200 that all of them were going to basically provide the same principle and that was important to understand the principle behind moving averages obviously they're going to plot a little differently but that there is no magic number for a moving average 50, 20, 89, 77 um, they're all going to work sometimes and not work other times work in quotes um, so the important thing to do is to establish which moving averages you want to use and then stay with them so that you get used to how the market moves with these moving averages and that you're seeing the same structure all the time so your eye and your brain gets used to that Okay, having said all of that, the moving averages that I've chosen to use um, are the 200 and that is the orange one down here and that's a simple and then this gold line here that's a hundred simple moving average. The red one is the 50 simple and then this black one is 15 exponential. Okay, now some of these are more important than others. Uh, on a daily chart, this is the S&P daily chart, for example. So on daily charts, it is, I feel, very important to have the 200 moving average and the 50 moving average, and these should be simple moving averages. And again, there's no magic to those numbers. The only magic to them is that these are very, very commonly used moving averages. Therefore, even institutions use these and a lot of trading programs trade off of these moving averages. So it's just the self-fulfilling prophecy aspect of it that the market, because so many people have these moving averages on their charts, the market will respond to them. So for that reason alone, it is very important that you have those two moving averages on as well. Now, the 100 moving average, and again, it's a simple, that is not as commonly used, but it is very, very powerful for support and resistance, and it actually gives you an advantage because it's something that a lot of people don't see, so it provides what I call invisible support resistance. And then the 15 exponential up here, well, again you want to have a shorter moving average a lot of people use a 20 simple that's fine I used to use that um, a 20 weighted moving average is real nice I like that one a lot 15 exponential um, is the one I decided to go with after just playing around with a bunch of these different shorter ones and so you can see which one you like uh, the best but this one's worked out very very well for me so um, again taking these off here for trends I use the 50 simple moving average as my intermediate trend indicator it's not a short-term trend indicator but it's an intermediate trend indicator and then I'm looking for retraces to the 15 EMA to show that that trend has some strength in other words if it comes down below the 15 EMA then that's that's a little weak you know, for a strong trend, we want it to hold the 15 EMA on the way up. So that's one way that we use these moving averages. Now, let's just take a, um, a little look through time here and see how these moving averages work. And there's a couple of different patterns that, um, that we treat off of these. Okay, so here, for example, is a great spot to look at. So here the market comes down, comes below the 50 MA. So now we're saying we're in a downtrend. 50 MA, first of all, price has to go below the 50 MA, which is the red line, and the 50 MA has to start angling down. So we're in a, a confirmed downtrend. But look how here's the 200 MA in the market finds support there. 
it tries to hold the 15 EMA and then it bounces back down to the 20 and goes back up to the 100. See there's the 100 and finds resistance. Here it's finding resistance on the 15. Here it's finding it on the 50. And you can see that if nothing else, these moving averages do provide what I call dynamic support resistance. Here we get back up above the 50. So again, now that we're price, price, it's not moving average crossover, it's price getting above the 50. So now we're looking for longs, looking to the long side. But again, the 100 MA provides resistance. See how powerful that is? And now we've got a cluster of moving averages, the 15 and the 200 in here, and that provides support. So then finally it's able to break up, and again, our 50 MA, we're above our 50 MA, and it's angling up. So we're into an uptrend here. And moving forward, see this is, this is a nice trend. This is exactly what I'm talking about. 50 MA is angling up, that's the red line. And then we have nice little retraces here to the 15 EMA. That is a very, very just standard sine wave, easy trading type of trend. Remember, the market doesn't trend most of the time. But when it does, that's exactly what we're looking for. It keeps going, keeps going, boom. And this is recent market activity, probably looks familiar. <laughs> But look what happened here, even this is good because this is so recent. So we got a big push here, high volatility came into the market. And um, we got a little hesitancy at the 100 MA. And then we got resistance here when the 100 and the 15 moving averages crossed. Now we come back above the 50 MA. This is really the... Um, the determining point. Now the 50 MA is flat. It is not angling down, so we can't say we're in a downtrend yet. Now that we're above it, it's ambiguous what's going to happen. There is no clear trend in the market. But it comes back down. We find support here with the moving average. Comes back up, breaks this high. That high becomes support here. And now the 50 MA starts angling back up again and we're back off to the races. There's our retrace to the 15 EMA and we make another new high. So what this does is it helps to provide structure for the market. Uh, moving averages by looking at these and their angles and finding support resistance it provides structure to an otherwise very difficult um, picture to get a hold of if you just use price bars.